the San Francisco Bay Area Rapid Transit District, better known as BART, is a heavy rail public transit system that connects the San Francisco Peninsula with many communities in the East and South Bay. In this video, we're going to explain the basics of how to ride BART if you are blind or visually impaired. In this video, we'll be following Daisy, who is blind, and her service dog on their BART ride. She starts her journey at Ed Roberts campus in Berkeley, located just above the Ashby BART station. Every BART station and train has features that improve accessibility for passengers, and today we'll be focusing on those for individuals who are blind or have low vision. As Daisy gets to the elevator, she traces her fingers over the braille on the sign that reads, Elevator to Concourse. Every entrance and exit in the BART system is labeled with large print and braille signs. Once in the station, you may need to buy or reload a clipper card. This is how you'll pay for your ride. Make your way to the ticket machines where you can use the braille labels or the audio feature to add money to your card. The audio for the machine sounds something like this. To change language selection, press button D. To purchase a clipper card with cash, insert coins and bills. Maximum change, four dollars and 95 cents. To upgrade clipper card e-purse, touch clipper card. Daisy scans her clipper card on the machine to load additional money on it. If you need help figuring out the exact fare to your destination, you can always ask a station agent for help. Once your clipper card is loaded, head to the fare gate to scan your card and pass through the gates. And remember, if at any point during your journey you need help or have a question, you can always request help from the station agent by contacting them through the white courtesy phones or call boxes located near the elevators. Daisy is now past the fare gates and is making her way towards the platform. She reads the braille labeling the correct escalator. While making your way towards the platform, you may hear the public address system announcing train arrivals and other important information. Inside the trains, the train operators announce the name of the next station and instructions for transfers. The truncated domes along the length of the BART train platforms mark the platform edge. These tiles can be detected with a cane or foot. Daisy waits safely behind this strip of tiles for her train to arrive. To get to your final destination, you may need to transfer trains at some point. Daisy is transferring at MacArthur Station today. Again. She waits patiently behind the strip of truncated domes for her train to arrive. She and her service dog board the train and ride until their final destination. Daisy and her service dog arrive at Rockridge Station. The doors open and they disembark the train. They exit the station through the fare gates and down a set of stairs. If you have any questions, or if you'd like to schedule a travel training with our transportation specialists, visit us online or call us at 510-841-4776. The CIL logo fades in. It reads, CIL, founded in 1972, Center for Independent Living.